40 years, 206 days. Liam Reddy and Romario, the oldest A-League men's player ever, 40 years, 320 days. I think as you're an outfield player, you must get a, a bit of a bonus. Goalkeepers just standing in the goals, not doing much. <laughs> yeah, age is no barrier for a goalkeeper. Gigi Buffon has just signed an extension with Parma in Italy today, I'm told. And his age now? He'd be over 40. Now, a mistake by Curtis Good, and as he tried to rectify it, he's clattered into his opponent. Glory will continue and try and dig it out for Jack Clisby, who strikes the upright. And Glory with the first real open and shut case for a chance. And Jack Clisby could not convert, and Curtis Good is mightily relieved. Jamison, far and get over the top. That's a really good ball from Scott Jamison. And Lecky is onto it. Berenguer in position. It's Florent Berenguer! Well, that's some way to celebrate the signing of a new contract. That is a fabulous goal from Melbourne City. Lecky with the assist. And what about that for a finish from Florent Berenguer? On the Harvey Norman replay, we see Scott Jamison with a wonderful ball under pressure down the line. And as the Perth Glory defence tried to scramble back, it was Berenguer who picked up the ball, one touch and left foot. Lecky just rolls it across, nice touch, and fires it into that near top corner. And it's a fantastic start to the match. Now the foot race is on between Latchman and McLaren. And Latchman is the winner on that occasion. Clearance picked up in the deep by Naboots, though. Little spin by Metcalf. Here's Matthew Lecky. It's two for City. Well, the drought went on for a while, but it's now become a flood for the Socceroos. Six in seven matches now for Matthew Lecky and City are two clear. And will Perth Glory, it's the same story for them today. They try to clear that ball, it's Melbourne City that pick up the scraps. Lecky stays on side, and rather than going across the goal to for a cross, he uses power and brute strength. Slightly different story, still a long way to go, of course. A useful ball for Ota. Can he find the cross to match? A little dig up. Oh, it's 2 1. Bruno Forderoli could not miss from there, could he? The 33rd goal he scored at this venue, and that will be one of the simplest. And it's back to 2 1. Tom Glover couldn't reach it. And the Uruguayan said, Thank you very much. Well, it had to be Bruno Forneroli. His sixth goal of the season on the Harvey Norman replay. It's a wonderful ball out wide here to Otter. Fornaroli's at the back post, as he always is. Meantime, here's Fornaroli for glory. And just waiting for Otter to arrive. Good had to stretch to divert it away. Fornaroli. Now, Burke Gilroy. Worked out by O'Neill for Fitzgerald. Plenty forward in this attack, Glory, and clipped beautifully by O'Neill to find Steins. Here's Koske Ota. Clisby is the end product here. And blasted in, it's 2-2 Callum Simmons. With an arrow into the bottom corner, and Perth Glory have come from two goals down to square it up again at 2-2. And the Harvey Norman replay, we'll see a wonderful run here from Daniel Steins at the back post. And as the ball comes back out, they look to fashion an opening, and as it's laid back, Daniel Timmons just smacks it low and hard, and through the sea of bodies, Tom Glover can't get down quick enough. Tilio held up well by Aspro, worked wide by Metcalf. Naboots, can he find the angle? Andrew Naboot, oh, I think it's hit Marco Tilio, his own player. It'll drop here for Kolakowski. He manages to keep it alive with some pretty nifty footwork. Chance here, and Reddy beats away the shot from Jenkinson. And the follow-up from Metcalf has spun off the outside of the boots, but it was action stations for Glory, and still might be again with Berenguer in possession. Jamison through the legs of O'Neill. This is lovely football by City. And Bramwell will sort things out for Glory in the end. Good save by Liam Reddick. 
one thing for sure you know that, that first effort's come back off Tilio. <laughs> yeah. One thing you know that Melbourne City will keep coming. Is it a good height for Liam Reddy that one? Beryl Gat. First through Rod Challenge. Here comes the cross. Oh, that was the moment, wasn't it, for Stefan Kolokowski? But he did not get the required contact. And the chance is gone. Well, it was a good move again from Melbourne City. Just lacking that final final product. Beringer played that ball wide. You see McLaren has a little look. Kolokowski just can't angle the header. Marco Tilio is actually coming in behind him. Maybe if he gives him a shout, he can attack that ball himself, but Kolokowski wasn't to know.